Hey, what's going on everyone? Aaron Bowman here with the Bowman Realty Group over at eXp Realty. And I just wanna say thank you for coming by and checking out another video today. Now, if you are new here, regardless of what social media platform you are watching this on, please consider liking, subscribing. That way there you can get notified of when we release new videos. Now, these videos normally contain information, tips, and everything related to real estate and the current market in the area. We also cover stuff nationally too. So if you are in uh, South Carolina watching this, this, some of this stuff will apply to you. And uh, you know, just pretty much thanks for coming and checking us out. I really do appreciate it. So today we're gonna talk about the five reasons to sell your home this winter. And um, the links it will be down below for the blog if you wanna see the actual uh, graphs and stuff that go along with this, it's up on our website. But number one, demand is strong. And the um, latest buyer traffic report from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, shows that buyer demand remains strong uh, the vast majority of the country. So if you are in Connecticut, if you are in Massachusetts, if you are in New York, somewhere down south, there's still buyers looking for homes. Just because it's in the winter months doesn't mean people stop buying. Now that brings us into number two, competition. There is less competition in the winter months than there are in the spring and summer months. So the best way I like to put this is if there were uh, 200 homes in the market over the summer, it's now getting into the fall and winter months, and there was 300 buyers, and all of a sudden 150 of those homes came off the market, you still have all those buyers fighting now for those few homes that are left and that makes it great for you as a seller because you could have the possibility of a bidding war. If you have some updates that need to be done to your house and you don't feel like doing them, some buyers might be able to overlook that because there is less inventory, so there's less competition and you have a better chance of selling your home. And also, buyers are more serious, so that brings us into number three. You know, most homeowners, again, like I said, in the, you know, kind of ties in with the last one, that most homeowners think that selling in the spring is the best time. Um, but if you have your home on the market in the winter time, not only do you have less competition, but the buyers that are out there are more serious than the ones that are gonna be out there in the spring and summer months when it's warmer out and they don't have to worry about slush and snow and ice, especially if you're up here in New England. So you're gonna have somebody that's gonna come out to see your home, and now it gets dark here around 4.35, and if they're getting out of work at 5.30, they're coming to see your house in the dark at six. They are obviously definitely more serious buyer than somebody that can come out on a sunny afternoon on a Tuesday when they get out of work and it doesn't get dark till eight or nine. So you wanna make sure you know that if you are considering selling your house, keep it on the market, because these people that come out to see your house are gonna be serious. There will never be a better time to move up. Now, if you are in a starter home or a you know medium price range home and you're looking to move up to something a little bit nicer, a little more luxurious, now is the time to do it because the luxury market has ample inventory. However, on the other hand, your starter home, entry level homes, your medium price range homes are at a demand, there is not enough inventory for the buyers that are coming into the market. So your millennials, um, people that are actually maybe downsizing from one of those luxury homes, you know, the empty nesters. So the thing is, if you have a home right now that you bought, you know, a few years back and you're saying, oh, we're starting to outgrow it, we wanna get to something bigger, now is a perfect time to sell because that inventory at that level is very low. On the other hand, the, the luxury market has more inventory, so there's a little bit more to pick from and you can probably get a better deal because of the competition that's out there as far as all the different homes on the market. So um, number five, it's time to move on with your life. Now this is something I always talk to my buyers, or I'm sorry, my sellers about, is when it comes time to sell, why are you selling? What is your why? What is the main reason why we're putting your home on the market? We're disrupting your life. We're making it look like nobody lives in this house. We're taking all these photos. We've got people coming and going, cleaning, everything like that, yard work being done, or snow removal if it's right now. But why are we moving? Are we moving because of a job? Are we outgrowing the house? 
you know, make sure you know why you're moving and don't just, you know, sell the house because you think it's a good time to sell. Make sure you know exactly what your reasoning is for doing it because honestly, some people get into it and are just like, hey, we heard that, you know, interest rates are low, we wanna find something else and we just wanna move, but they haven't really thought about everything that goes along with it, the moving companies, the cleaning, the contracts, the inspections and all that stuff. So you want to make sure you know why you want to move. So, and uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the five, five ones. I, that, that list was kind of quick this time. So we got number one, demand. Number two, there's less competition. Number three, buyers are serious this time of year. Number four, there will never be a better time to move up because we talked about that luxury market and how there's ample homes there. And number five, it's time to move on with your life. So what is your why? Why are you selling? Why are you putting your house in the market? So I hope that answered some questions for you as far as the five reasons why you should sell this winter. Again, the big ones are the competition is minimal right now. So if you are looking to move, if you are looking to sell that house, maybe start looking for something you know, sooner than the springtime, maybe you want to get into something for the new year. There's still time to do that. Well, it's getting kind of close to the new year, so maybe not actually in before the new year, but you could start the new year off in a new home. And again, especially if you were in one of those uh, medium price range homes, their inventory is really low and that's nationwide. And you have everything to pick from in what we call the luxury market or your move up home. So hopefully this has helped you. If it has, please let me know down below. If you think it was terrible, you can let me know that too. Thanks for watching the video and we will see you on the next one.